It has been almost a year since we first learned that a former DNA analyst at CBI, the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, was under investigation herself. We now know Missy Wood's misconduct has impacted more than 800 cases. That number could grow. Our own Kelly Rinky has been following this investigation really from the beginning, and she's able to walk us through some of the details that we still don't know yet. Kelly? Yeah, Alex and Mark, a team is still reviewing paper files of her work from 1994 through 2008, so CBI could identify more than those 800 cases. The Public Defender's Office tells me most of their cases are closed, which means people went to prison. According to them, they're struggling to get information about whether her actions could have changed the results at trial. Yvonne Missy Woods lost her job at CBI almost a year ago after an intern discovered problems with her work. That launched a nightmare for the state's criminal justice system. This story kind of blew me away when I right. heard about it. Interviews during an internal investigation discover Woods had mishandled evidence for years, despite repeated warning signs. Someone accused a veteran analyst of tampering with evidence back in 2018. The CBI director at the time said he doesn't remember anyone telling him about a disaster in the making. Uh, if on the other hand, um, I was informed of any allegations to the extent that I've read about in the news. Right. Um, you can, you can be damn sure that we would have opened up a full investigation. The agency now knows Woods' misconduct is impacting more than 800 cases. So we need to remember that it's not just about getting information of what happened. It's about figuring out how to make sure it never happens again. Zachary Brown is the chief deputy at the Colorado State Public Defender. A year later, he said his office knows more about which cases are involved, but for cases where someone has been convicted, he said they're struggling to get info about whether her actions could have changed the results at trial. That's part of the issue is that the discovery process only happens when there's an attorney. And a lot of these folks um, are in prison and don't have an attorney anymore. Their representation has been terminated. Brown says most of their cases are not open, meaning many of their clients went to prison. It's been almost a year since we learned about the investigation into Missy Woods. Brown wishes he knew more than they do. It is awful for them to have to go through this. And that's all that we're trying to do is help the folks that were impacted. So that criminal investigation is still being handled by a team in South Dakota. So we don't know whether or not she will face charges or when those charges will be filed against Woods. Alex. Still so many questions. It's a year later. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll continue to look at it. Yeah, I know you will. Kelly, thank you for being on top of this. If you have a tip, for our team to investigate, email it to investigates at 9news.com.